guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is an Amazon haul, but not just any Amazon haul. I have quite a few savings and deals within this video, which is very exciting because we all know I'm a savvy shopper. I love a good bargain. I'm sure most of you guys are watching do too. So if you want to see what I have been picking up from Amazon lately, mostly home decor, then make sure you're set and ready with a nice a cozy drink of choice with some snacks, light the candles, put your feet up. And let's get into today's video. So as I mentioned, savings, deals, bargains, we have a lot of that on this channel. And today I am partnering with the latest deals, which is a brand and online website app that I have loved and used for a really, really long time. It is completely free of charge to do so. And it is a platform that allows you to browse thousands of deals across so many different retailers, including Amazon, eBay, Boots. I know Tom was looking at um, a deal the other day from Adidas because he loves shopping on Adidas. So yes, there are hundreds of new deals added daily. They are added by you and me. Anyone can add a deal, mums, dads, sat on the internet, also wanting to save money and share the deals that they have found with you guys by putting them on latest deals. So if you want to start saving even more money today, then make sure to check it out via the link that I have left in the description box. Thank you so much for working with me on today's video. And let's start with the first deal that I found on latest deals, shopping through Amazon. So basically it was an offer that is um, highlighted on the fact that you can do your online Morrison's shop with Amazon, you get £10 off, which is amazing. So I took advantage of that. I did a bit of a grocery shop. Most of the stuff is in the fridge freezer, like breads, milk, all the kind of daily essentials. But I have a load of other items I thought would be a bit more fun, a bit more interesting to share with you from Morrison's. And then the rest of the haul is going to be pretty much home decor again, many of which I did find through latest deals. So um, I think there were sort of 5%, 10%, up to 20% savings on some of these items. But again, everything that I can, I will leave linked below from Amazon so that you can shop any of these items yourself. Deals come and go, they change all the time. So by the time you're watching this video, the best thing to do would be to click on those links, see what price they are at today. I'll give you a rough idea of what I paid, but... We all know with Amazon, they change daily. So these are new in. I've never seen these before from Starbucks. I love a good Starbucks drink. So I decided to pick these up. They're basically like the cafe lattes that they do in the little fridge freezer with the individual size with the straw, but in a bigger size so you can enjoy more. So I got the caramel ma macchiato flavor and the cafe latte. And I also got these two, which were on offer at the time. And they are from the best range that Morrison's do. Love a good pasta dish, and these last quite a while. These are good until May. So we've got the basil and pine nut ravioli and the mushroom white wine roasted garlic. That sounds honestly a bit of me. I got some puff pastry. This is the Just Roll one, the Ready Rolled. I think this was on offer at pound. I also got some halloumi, which also makes quite a nice addition to this if you want to do a kind of savoury pastry. Again, I think these are new. I don't think I've seen these in before. From Pret. Pret now have a range in Morrison's, which is, in this instance, granola. So we've got classic granola, and then also a dark chocolate and almond granola, both of which look lovely they come delivered in these prime bags by the way if you've never ordered from morrison's before then i've got these part baked baguettes these are really good they've got like a month shelf life on these so they last a while and you just freshly bake them in the oven especially if you've got like cheese board night or something like that planned to have freshly baked bread is just a win in my opinion picked up two more of the john west on the go super salad type things i love these for a little lunch time snack i got some green olives and i also got some of these coffee paper filters for our coffee filter machine last thing in this bag some lemon shortbread rounds how amazing do they sound? And how nice does that sound for spring as well? Like anything spring related at the minute, I'm such a seasonal lover, but spring, let's talk spring. Spring is just so exciting. So these are lemon fancies, set of eight. As you can tell, I'm a lemon lover. I got some apple and rosemary stuffing mix, good to add to like a nice little Sunday. Sunday roast, Sunday DIY a roast at home. And then this is, um, from Wagamama's, I've never seen this before. I thought I would give it a try. It's a katsu curry meal kit. 
Um, I always tend to opt for yakisoba when I order from Wagamama's, Mamas, but I'm tempted to try katsu curry. So I'm gonna try that one first to see if I like it. Again, these are new, no win, and I love Crave cereal. So this one is cookies and cream flavor. Sounds amazing. Stocked up on some more ginger, my lemon ginger tonic. These for Easter are new in these little Oreo egg and spoon kits. They're honestly so yum. I think these ones were on offer as well. They just make good little afternoon snacks. So I've got three different flavors. I've got this one, which is the apple loaf. And then this is the orange and rainbow carrot bites. I've never tried those ones before. And then the berry and beetroot bites. A couple of cleaning products, these were discounted because I guess they're the wintry scented ones, winter spiced anti-back wipes. And I also got these, which I've not used before, but they're plastic free wipes. I also got this, which I've never tried before and it looks lovely. It's from Heinz, it's raspberry balsamic. Great for salad, it's a salad dressing spray essentially and only two cal per spray. And seeing as though we're moving into the warm months, we do tend to have quite a lot of like barbecues, there's always a salad involved. I did pick up some gingerbread syrup. I have this one already in my cupboard, but I'm running low, so I decided to pick up another. And then the last of the bits that I have to share from you that I did pick up from Morrison's is from Bayless and Harding, some new products which I've never seen before, but look so nice. This is the natural body wash in oud, cedar, and amber. Then this is the natural bath soak in lemongrass and ginger, nice and citrusy. I feel like that'd be good for like a morning bath. Oh yeah, that's, oh God, that's lovely. Moving on to the rest of the items from Amazon. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages to get through. The first one is these. Now I saw Gemma Miles, she showed these and I thought they were lovely. They're just little cupcake or muffin cases that you can do kind of healthy little baking bites in, maybe Easter cupcakes in, little mini eggs cakes. You get, I think, 50 in there, so plenty in there. They were about five pounds. Next up, I got something very random, but again, I saw this, I think it was on Pinterest I saw this one. It's a little lighter, but in an antique brass finish, which with our front room in the area mainly that I buy things for to eventually style up is going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is what we're thinking anyway, this is our vision, black walls in like kind of the dining living area with a white fireplace, lots of shelving space, which I'm gonna style up. And I love the idea of having lots of antique brass in there. Our plug sockets and light switches are all antique brass. I just really love the look of it, especially in an Edwardian property. So anyway, this little lighter styled up near some candles, maybe on a coffee table book, and it's just there ready to go. Now, this does actually need fuel, so I need to pick some of that up to be able to fill it up, but it is obviously then refillable. And yeah, a little lighter. Next up, I picked up these little, I think they called them bonsai clippers. They're essentially little um, clippers or scissors that you can use to trim stems off your flowers, trim leaves off plants. So they're a little horticultural item that again would look quite nice styled up actually. These were only three pounds and I thought they looked lovely. This next item is for the kitchen. It was only 4 99 and I love this. It's a wooden spoon rest, but you know how I've been getting quite a lot of that kind of mango wood, acacia wood kind of colored items. Well, this, I might have even shown this before because I did actually order this one a while ago. I'm yet to pop it out in the kitchen. I just love the look of it. I think it's such a nice finish. I like the fact that it's really textured and rustic looking. I also got this, which again, that kind of rustic finish to it is what I absolutely love. This also almost has a kind of whitewash effect to it. You could use it as a letter stand or as a book stand in the kitchen, as a napkin rack. And this was about seven pounds. So this was one of the items that had a saving on it. I think it was about 5% saving and it's a set of incense sticks, which you guys know I'm a big fan of burning my incense. We've got one in our bedroom and then also one on the top floor for Tom's office. And this, 
I feel like it's gonna last us a lifetime. There's so many in here. That's gonna keep us going for a while. And I love the box that it comes in as well. This was about 15 pounds. And then again at about 15 pounds, I got this set of door hooks, coat hooks, however you wanna use them. They're essentially a hook that you can screw to the wall and they're like a cast iron. Again, really fitting with the sort of age of this property. You've got the actual uh, round kind of part that goes against the wall and then the hook, which I mean, I haven't even got these out yet, but I feel like I need to keep them in their box until we've got a joiner or someone that can actually pop these out properly. But yeah, once they're screwed to the wall, that is what they, they will look like. I love that kind of cast iron industrial feel. I feel like this would look good either in the basement with like the coat racks. I actually thought it'd look quite nice in Tom's Tom's room because he's kind of got a bit of his touch up there, like a kind of industrial finish. So I feel like he might really like these. Okay, we've got a bigger box now with a couple of coffee table books. When can I ever put in an Amazon order without ordering at least one coffee table book? I think I actually have a few within this haul. So the first one is this one called Magnolia Table. This is volume two. They do have another one which has a dark gray binder. The um, price of that one was quite a bit more though. So I decided to opt for the second one, volume two. Plus I prefer the neutral linen kind of color um, to the binder. It is linen as well. That's what I always look out for with the books is the kind of texture or something a bit different. This was again, another saving from latest deals that I managed to get hold of. And it's RRP is 25 pounds, I think. And I paid about 10 pounds for it. Um, yeah, it says USA $35, so it is an American book, which will um, be represented with their recipe sizes, I'm sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, a quarter cup. I mean, I do actually have cup measurements, so it's fine anyway. But oh my God, ooh, ham and spinach puffs, they look lovely. Arancini, mmm. Casserole, ooh, maple butter, syrup, waffles. Ooh, look at this. Maple, walnut, scones, scones. You, however you say it, coffee cake. Oh, this is a bit of me, this, this um, cookbook. So pleased I got that and it's such a bargain as well. Now this next book was quite a bit more expensive and a lot of you are gonna roll your eyes at this. It was actually someone that recommended it to me, one of you guys messaged me on Instagram and said, this is a bit of you, it's a bit of me. It was about 70 pounds but it's big it is they the same sort of size to the tom ford book that i've got that black tom ford one which by the way they brought out a second one volume two which is a white cover so who knows maybe i'll keep my eyes peeled for that for in the future but yeah this if that's not a hint as to what this book is all about then i don't know what is <laughs> this is called the golden retriever photographic photographic society by bruce weber and it essentially details so many moments with golden retrievers. It's not all completely black and white, most of it is. I'll show you, that's the front cover. Look, look at that little poppy on the back. Oh my God, I'm in love. So you could even have this sort of coffee table book sat open on display. Big golden there, a big Barney there. Uh, there's, do you know what? So many of these photos are like retrievers swimming and out on um, holidays and stuff. And I just feel like, oh, hello. I just feel that sums up golden retrievers, doesn't it? Just going on adventures. And there are other dogs in here as well. Oh, look at them cuddled up in their towels. That's like Barney when I put on his little green towel. So cute. Anyway, yeah, this is a beautiful book. Definitely one that I'm going to keep safe for. Once we've renovated, I don't want it getting ruined now. And I might even have it somewhere by where his bed will be in the future. This book fills my heart with much joy. I also picked up this cocktail muddler. It was literally just a pound. It was so affordable. And I liked, quite like the look of it as well. But um, for mixing kind of mojitos or any kind of cocktails that need a good mush with like the mint leaves or whatever kind of cocktail you're making that needs a muddler, we now have a muddler. Who knew I'd need a muddler at some point in my life, but now I've got one. They make quite good um, tools for if you're doing like salad dressings or kind of seasonings and stuff that you need to use one of these for as well. Another book that I got, this one is actually from the Amazon sort of used books section, 
which honestly it's in perfect condition it's like brand new this one keeps getting recommended to me on amazon whenever i'm on amazon shopping this one always pops up as a recommendation. And so I thought, well, let me just try getting it as a used copy and see what it's like in person. Honestly, perfect. It is like brand new. So it's a book all about sourdough. It's nice and white. Oh, okay, there's a tiny little mark on the back. There we go. That's its used condition. 20 pounds this retails for. I think I paid about, let's have a look. Seven pound for it. And then I also got this book, which is called Still The Slow Home. So it's all about taking kind of time out, reflecting, realizing what's important, what you actually need in your life, um, decluttering, organizing, that kind of thing. And the images on this are just so inspirational for what well, any kind of interiors book, I just take so much inspiration from. Same with Pinterest, that's another place that I could just spend hours browsing like how nice is that kind of rustic living i love that so much so yeah this is called still the slow home by natalie walton makes for a lovely coffee table book a lovely display book and feels nice and textured as well i did get one more book i thought i did i forgot about this one so this is called gathering setting the natural table it's by christian casey with photography why can't i say that word photography by Gemma and Andrew Ingalls. And yeah, I loved the font of the actual gathering. So sat on its side, I think it would look quite nice, but also it has a nice little image on the front, all about, uh, should I keep it in its package until I use it? I feel like I might as well, seeing as though I'm sharing it with you, actually show you what the book is like on the inside. Again, it's gonna make a lovely addition to what is fast becoming quite a big collection of really nice cookery books for in the kitchen. So yeah, that is what the front cover looks like. Inside, let's have a look at some of the images. Ooh, oh, I love that little label. Farmer's market table. This is what I love about the warmer months as well, is going to farmer's markets, food markets. We actually both love doing that, myself and Tom. Any kind of markets with food. Practical little purchase now. I got a handheld vacuum cleaner. I decided that um, just for ease and convenience when hoovering, especially with having a dog, to be able to take this out as portable, take it out to my car, or even just, you know, on work surfaces and things. That is what I got this for. So it's quite small, really easy to hold and use, and you just empty it out each time. It does have another little, um, longer extendable reach thing and also one with a little brush on the top as well like so and i am getting a new car soon which i'm going to keep as clean as i possibly can so this is going to prep me in advance for getting that new car having a dog with muddy paws it's always a challenge to try and keep your car clean speaking of muddy paws and dogs i also got this for barney for in the garden he loves a good tug of war and there's a walk not too far from us where someone's clearly like it's the the trees like that far off the floor ready for dogs to be able to reach and there's a little kind of blue rope attached to it and he just always plays tug of war whenever we walk past that so i decided to pick this up i thought we could pop it on our tree in our garden and the fact that it stabilizes itself by popping it around the trunk is really really good so you're not going to damage your tree too much and yeah, the actual toy goes on the end, which you can detach and use as a tug of war toy. If the angles change or anything, I've just had to switch out my battery, just as I was about to share with you the last item that I picked up. This will work lovely with my new incense sticks that I picked up. And this is a little incense holder. So like I said, we've currently got one in our master bedroom and one on the top floor. I'd quite like to have one in this room. This is a wooden, what they call it, a wooden incense boat. So it's got two little holes at either end that you can pop two sticks in, which allows them to kind of cross over in the middle, burn and drop the ash in the middle. Incense always fills room with a lovely scent anyway, but if you feel like you've got a big space that needs a bit of extra oomph when it comes to incense burning, then having two will really help. So yeah, I picked that one up for about 
think this one was seven pounds six or seven pounds and that sums up everything that i got so thank you so much to latest deals for working with me on today's video don't forget to check them out via the link in the description box it's completely free of charge browse some of their amazing deals that are to be had hundreds added daily it's honestly well worth a good browse let me know of any amazing deals that you spot send them over to me thanks to you guys for watching today's video and i hope to see you all in my next one bye guys